As I'm getting older, I'm realizing how difficult it is to let go of my youth, which is exactly the sentiment that a lot of people who are aging feel. Now, I pride myself in knowing that I had a pretty darn good childhood. I grew up in a semi-privileged home. I still had to work for what I wanted. My parents were the type that would buy me anything at the drop of a hat. On occasion, if I begged and screamed and kicked, yeah, you know, they'd, they'd give in. My parents were pretty cool about buying me certain toys because they knew that as soon as I found a toy that I absolutely liked, I stuck with it. Matchbox cars, toy army men, Playmobil, but the one I had to have the most of all the time, even if I already had it, was Star Wars. Star Wars! <laughs> and yeah, I have to admit, it was the freaking lightsabers that did it all for me. The lightsaber was like the greatest creation ever. From the moment I saw Empire Strikes Back, back in 1980, my mind, my whole imaginary world had changed forever. So much, in fact, that I even own one. Shh. Welcome to Geek Central! Actually, no, I'm not that bad. I, I do have a shut-off button. And I don't talk about it with every person I know, whether they like it or not. I still have all my Star Wars action figures from the 80s. Kept nicely in cases, stored away in boxes, in my parents' basement. I've been promising a video about those guys for quite some time. But as I was saying earlier, there's just certain aspects of my youth that I just find it really difficult to let go of. My love of Star Wars being one of them. So much in fact, that even now, in my 35 years of age, <laughs> I will still on occasion buy a Star Wars action figure. Loser! No, 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 hold on. It's not just any Star Wars action figure. It's got to be one that just kind of blew me away in the movie or, or one that, that they made from the original trilogy that I never got when I was a kid. And no, I don't keep them in the boxes. Oh, I tear that shit up. I can't help it. It is by far the greatest science fiction story of all time. Sort of relates to people now. Good versus evil, right wing, left wing, the force as religion versus non-believers hope that good will conquer all. Star Wars is no doubt a wonderful outlet for creativity and it's a healthy reminder of what actions we should take throughout life. The light side of the force is good. But the dark side does have candy. And lots of sex! But anyway. So I occasionally am guilty of buying a Star Wars action figure. What do I do with them? I either post them up on my shelf over here. Here's a few right here on the wall couple Mandalorians for you. I've forgotten what it's actually like to play with Star Wars figures. I remember I didn't like playing with friends because every time I played with somebody they wouldn't adhere to my storyline. Yes sir, I will do my job. I will not fail you. Okay, are you ready? Okay, um, let's pretend that um, this guy's really Optimus Prime. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, okay, well then pretend we're brothers, because we got the same head on me. No, that's not what we're doing. We're pretending we're different guys. Okay, well, um, I, well, can I be the boss this time? No, I don't want you to. This is not what we're doing. Okay, but, um, what if we just... No, we're just playing regular Star Wars. Shut up, I hate you. The one thing I really don't like about buying these things, because I do tend to feel guilty about it afterward, well, sometimes is that they don't cost as much as I did when I was younger. In fact, they cost a whole lot more. They're priced to as much as $10 nowadays. $10! What the crap is going on here? Now, FYI, George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, is a billionaire, not a millionaire. He controls a billion dollar business. We're talking at least a billion. He's been making money off of Star Wars and Indiana Jones for years. For the true Star Wars action figure collector, ten dollars equals chump change. But for anybody who's married and has a family, I'm not gonna say any names, ten dollars can be used for a whole lot of other things hence my feelings of guilt every time i buy one of these guys now like i said it's not often that i do it because frankly it's not often that i see a character i gotta have but when i do see a character in action figure form that i gotta have i take it and run my main concern is is not so much me it's it's really these other families that have young kids what if the only thing in the world that timmy wants for christmas is star wars and his parents can afford it he dead Yes, son? Oh, oh, I want for Christmas some Star Wars toys.
The dollar store doesn't have Star Wars. They might have Star Wars erasers, Star Wars binders, Star Wars pencils, Star Wars gift bags. A lot of times when I'm in the toy aisle, say at Walmart or Target, I see kids that are picking up these figures and they're just looking at them in awe, thinking, I wish I could have him, but my parents are poor. Gas prices are way up there. My sister needs more baby food and diapers, so I have to suffer. George. Can I call you George? I don't know if you're the one that's pricing these toys, but you've got to really consider families and young kids that that need to to experience what it's like to imagine themselves as Luke Skywalker or I guess Anakin Skywalker or Obi-Wan and and let, allow them to afford this stuff. Now granted, you're always going to be able to rely on those collectors to support your billion dollar business. But those poor kids are always going to be able to rely on those same collectors to ruin their chances of getting a new toy. Not to mention the rising cost of everything. You know, it's one thing for gas prices to go up. Even the cost of food and cigarettes. But come on, Star Wars toys? Matchbox cars have been a dollar for how long? The collectors are always going to be there, and that's great. They're willing to fork out the cash. Even the starving college students that buy Star Wars toys. But one thing's for sure. Nothing is more disheartening than having a little kid run up to the toy shelves in hopes to find a new slew of toys. But instead, they find row upon row of the same action figure. And for seven dollars. If I didn't like my Star Wars toys a whole lot, I would have given them up to a kid. Or a group of kids. A daycare, maybe. Well, no, not after watching Toy Story 3. <laughs> Come on, Georgie. What are you, saving up for a new bike? Share the wealth! Okay, okay, that wasn't fair. Actually, George Lucas does give a lot of money to charity. If Star Wars toys are just the collector's only kind of thing, one day they'll all die out. The Star Wars toy line might plummet with it. So come on, George, lighten up. Empty the pockets a little bit. The only thing that'll be left are the Batman toys. And yeah, everybody loves Batman, but God, how many incarnations of Batman toys do we need? Laters. And may the Force be with you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot, I took out the batteries to uh, <clears throat> play the Wii.